Hey folks, if you're here for advice on how to assemble or play the Junior Playable Bagpipes, you can click the link down in the video's description. Otherwise, you can just keep watching. So I decided to learn to play the bagpipes. It's not important why. And the pursuit of this goal led me to purchase what purports itself to be Scotland's national musical instrument, the Junior Playable Bagpipes. You can buy these in just about any tourist shop in Edinburgh, which is where I got mine. And uh, well, they come with a box, bagpipes, and a really, really bad set of instructions. There's also a free read in there, which you're going to be using. With that out of the way, let's get started on how to assemble the damn thing. The instrument itself is composed of 12 individual pieces. You have the bag, obviously, seven parts that make up the drones, the blow stick, the thing that has the holes in it, the reed, and the drone cords. Start by fitting the drones together so that only the thicker dowels are left visible. These aren't real, by the way. They're literally just bits of wood. Hmm. Anyway, put the reed into the end of the glorified recorder so that the white bit is sticking out. Then put the cords onto the drones. Make sure the big one is on the outside. Put all of that aside for now, then lay out the bag so that it looks like a really bad drawing of a tartan whale. Mm. Stick the blow stick into the blowhole, and mm. make sure that the little rubber flap stays in place. That's supposed to be a valve which keeps air from escaping from the bag, but it doesn't work. Mm. Stick the dollar store oboe into the tartan whale's mouth, keeping the holes facing toward the sky. Yes. Finally, jam the functionless bits of wood into place. Make sure that the tallest one ends up being closest to you. So once it's all assembled, you'll have what looks like a mess. How you use this mess is you tuck this part under your arm. You hold, no, that's not right. Remember, we've got the long one facing toward me, so I'm gonna tuck the bag itself. Okay, we've got it now, maybe. With everything assembled and everything in position, we're finally ready to play. This is obviously going to go in my mouth, and my thumb is going to go over that little tone hole my other fingers are going to go over these, and we're going to see if we can coax a melody out of this thing. So anyway, they technically work, but they don't really do much. I'd advise saving your money and investing in a normal practice chanter, which is the... It doesn't matter. Uh.